Okay, so oh, we, okay. oh, well. All right, so we. This is part two. This is part two. We are at the Mamaki, uh, uh, what is this? I think it is a distribution the showroom. center. showroom, we're definitely at the showroom. We are bringing donuts for the warehouse and for the showroom floor. We told her that we weren't coming today, so it's just a little pranky prank. You know yeah. how we do it on here? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> we're just pranking, we're just playing with you. Oh, <laughs> we're <pranking her>. <laughs> 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 no, we brought donuts. We brought donuts. We're a little late. Okay, so the ink is a little bit low on this so we're going to show you how easy it is to replace the ink. So used to what would happen is you would get the ink in a disposable plastic cartridge like this and recently we have gone to this where you're actually just changing out the bag of ink. We overfill these by about 10% so that they never run fully out and dry up your machine. When it comes packaged to you, it comes packaged like this, real nice and, um, and tight. And then every time the ink will have a ink chip to go with it. <laughs> so the ink chip will can tell how much ink is in the machine. So when it's gonna uh, be need to be replaced. It keeps track of that. So we're just going to lay it down in here. And there's a little channel that it fits into there. We're going to take out the ink chip. We're going to put the ink chip back in. And then we're going to close it off. And about how long does each bag last? Yeah, I would say that's going to depend on your production. Okay. But what is great about Rashalink, the software that um, it runs, it'll actually tell you what each job you run, how much ink it's used, cyan, okay. magenta, yellow, and white. So if some jobs are um, using more ink, you can put that in the cost okay. for the job, which is kind of nice. And with the cartridges, does this kind of eliminate the issues of like splatter and ink everywhere? Because I've seen that, I've seen a lot of horror stories with the the, having to pour and stuff like that, and then some of the hoses breaking off. Oh, other people have to pour it? They don't come. No. <laughs> you're, you're never going to get this on you okay. from this. And it is also good because it's white. You know, if you need to shake it like this, you can do it this way. Or the machine will indicate to you that you need to shake your white. Okay. And then when that's the case, you'll just pull it out. Just shake it like that. shake it back and forth. Yeah. And then put it back in. Ready. Also, oh, oh, one chip per use? Yeah, one chip per bag that you get. It'll okay. have a chip. Yeah. Also, oh, those indicators let you know if it's right or not. Exactly. The indicators okay. let you know whether it's correct or not. Like right now, the indicator is telling us that it's out. There Blue. we go. Blue, we are ready to go. Then, because it's in this pouch, now you can just throw this stuff away. You don't have to worry about the ink filling out. See, even after the ones that we've come, that's not actually going to come out. Wow. So, no ink spillage. Super clean, super neat. And remember, guys, they manufacture the ink. So, it's not being sourced from another company. They're responsible for the colors and everything that you see here, which is different than any other machine on the market. So when you come in in the morning, you're gonna to wanna to bring the machine up. First thing it's gonna do is ask you to measure the width of the material. So it has an indicator light on here that will come and read the material on the machine. So this is a 24 inch, but if you are going to you know, change to a 31 inch or 31 and a half inch material, it'll automatically read it. So it's gonna come across and it's gonna read the material. And you'll see on the screen here, it's gonna tell you the print area width. So we've got 23.22 inches of print area on this material. And then remote means if we put the machine into remote, it's ready to receive information to print. Um, before we get ready to print, we're gonna run a test, a cleaning. So under test print and cleaning, you push that and then you push cleaning. And I like doing a normal in the morning, so I push enter. What that does is inside the head unit here, there's a capping station. There's also a wiper. There is a physical wiper that is a, a consumable that you'll need to keep in stock. Uh, it comes in a pack of 10, they'll probably last you a year. And uh, it counts, the machine counts how many times that 
wiper has wiped the head and it will indicate to you when that wiper needs to be replaced. That's also something you'll need to keep clean because that's one of the only things you want touching your head is that to clean that off. So that's what the machine is doing here. It is um, spitting a little bit of ink and wiping it off so that it clears all of our nozzles and so we're ready to print first thing in the morning. So after it gets done with its cleaning cycle, we will run a test print. When you run the test print, it'll give you a diagram of every single nozzle. So if a couple are um, out, maybe you need to run another cleaning. The machine also has a cleaning solution cartridge that you will have on the side of your machine. This is for its automatic maintenance and automatic cleaning system that the machine has already all of our machines um, have this process and so this just goes in the side of the machine like that and then if you need to soak your um, heads or um, for some of the maintenance that it does uh, it, it uses that liquid so <laughs> say you're gonna go out of town for a couple of days you can increase that maintenance cycle on these machines so maybe you have the maintenance cycle only come up once a you know during the week but on the weekend or maybe you have a three-day weekend maybe you want it to come up and clean itself three times so you it's very customized that you can do that and then it's also got that white ink circulation system in it that we've talked about before as well so this was all set up really after you do the cleaning and stuff like that that and I'm going to use the term set it and forget it but that's what this printer is really for because most of your other printers run the exact same way you kind of brought that technology to DTF that's exactly right this platform that um, the DTF ink is put into this machine is used with our solvent ink as well as our um, UV ink the same uh, system so we're a hundred percent ready to keep that you know going here but it's also tried and true. This isn't something we just made three months ago and just put out, right? It's a machine that we know is tried and true and then we customize the ink for the for okay. this machine to use it for DTF. That's the, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna see. So, so this is the test draw and see how we have a few nozzles out. There's like little uh, oh, yeah. pieces of white. So we're gonna run another cleaning on it and that will go away. And so uh, a lot of things that we hear in the industry is I have to, if I get a DTF printer, either I have to man it or I have to hire somebody to man it because it's not a machine that you can just leave. Set it and forget it. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. I kind of wonder about that same thing. So of course, some of our other machines, like our solvent machine, you can run them overnight, but of course it's really? not using heater. So we don't want this to run overnight because we don't want it to get caught up in the heater and then oh, okay. start a fire. But I would say as you put your jobs on here and you're wanting it to print at eight hours a day, you might just want to come and check on it every 30 minutes, every 45 minutes, but you don't have to babysit the machine, I would say. Okay, so you could have somebody in the in your Vicinity. facility. Okay. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, right. You wouldn't have to sit somebody right next to it because we've seen a lot of places where people have a kind of like a post right next to it to be right like ready when something goes wrong yeah i know that i don't feel like that's gonna help anybody's production you want to be able to make sure the machine does what it needs to do and it's something that you could watch but not necessarily have to babysit and be over here gotcha yeah that's it you don't have to babysit this mamaki mm -hmm. and how wide is this print 20 i know typical is like 22 wide how wide is this you can put up to I think you can put 30 inch film in there. I think the film comes in 30 or 31 inch film is the widest one. Yeah. I know in Atlanta, we have a, a shaker that does do um, 30, 30 inch material, but I heard it's hard to get those films in that wide. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I've never seen it and then, yeah, I've yeah, no never one, seen it. I don't it. know anyone who offers um, higher than 22 ever. Yep. It's 22 by however, no. Yeah, 22 by. Yeah, however long however, you want. However long. Because the bead runs along the side. Does that, is it the same way where the bead runs the wet line you along the side? And you have to trim it off? Oh, no. Right here. There's not a bead that runs along the side? What, what bead? To no. keep it wet. No, what do you mean? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, we'll be right back. Let them know about the bead that runs, that this, that the Mamaki does not have to run a bead along your transfer. It's a true 24 inch printer go ahead tell her what we just well it's a true 24 inch wide printer but she did say it can go up to 30 inches wide but the only reason why they don't really go to that wide is because it's hard to find film 
30 inches wide because most DTF printers are 22. So if you notice here, this is a completed artwork and it doesn't have that uh, line on the side. What is it called, honey? The bead. The bead? The bead? Yeah, the bead. Though. The bead on the side. So this is complete coverage, complete 22, actually 23. Yeah. 0.22 without that. No more having to cut. No more having to cut print. Those, yep, yeah. and then cut it or sell it with that with that wet bead line on the side. I wish we had an example. I know we they're Man. all chopped off. That's an architect table. Okay, so right now uh, we are setting up this table with all different type of materials that we are going to practice on. So we have this little booklet here and it's like a saw. I don't even know what this right. is, but we are just going to practice to see how DTF. Okay, our old game show, will it press? We brought it. So, will it press on these wood circles? We have a couple of wood planks here. Canvas, this bath. What else we got? That's it, we got this little iron here that we're gonna use. So, stay tuned and we're gonna practice on these things to see how it goes. And look at their press. Look at this professional press. It's on too, so be careful. All right guys, so as you can see, we're here with the Mamaki TXF1 50. Again, you guys just learned a lot of information from Miss Carissa. And again, we are going to continue to teach you about this printer. So go ahead, zoom in. So we have some stuff that we sent already, but what we're actually going to be doing today, today is such a huge day because we are going to be printing live. So a lot of transfers, a lot of customers orders we are going to be doing on this printer today. We're gonna film it and we're gonna shout you out because we appreciate you for using flash custom transfers to print your transfers. But what's, what's, a, what's a great opportunity that we have with the Mamaki company is we are going to be using the transfers from us to print here and then we're gonna send them to you. So you guys are gonna receive the transfers. They're going to be tagged with the Mamaki logo and everything. But what's great about that is we need your feedback. We need you to let us know all the imperfections or if there are any or any issues with your transfers so that Mamaki can have real live data. So you are actually helping Mamaki get real live data so they can continue to elevate their printers and also let everybody know who purchases their printers, hey, this is what you want to do whenever you get this type of image. This is what you want to do whenever you get that type of image. And I'm not really the image guy. Chelly is. She can really explain to you a lot of information and get into details about that. But this is the testing that Mamaki wants to do versus the other printers that are coming from like China or any other uh, any other random place. And you're just getting them and they you know come with decent tech support or you have to go on Facebook and find a guy to like come out and help you with your printer or something like that. Because these printers can be very finicky. But this one is really a set it and go. She actually set it and left. <laughs> so she left us here with it. <laughs> we do have some gentlemen back there who can help us if anything goes wrong. But as you see, it's a very clean machine too. They're, they're using a different oven. If you notice, this oven doesn't have your traditional exhaust. It has this filtration system over here. And this door actually opens up. And then the, the whole shaker uh, system is also enclosed. So all of this is also available for sale as well and you will see links in the description that will allow you to go to the certain places and purchase these items. Every item that you see here is actually available. And they have a new printer, which is the TXF 300, which prints twice as fast as this one. This is a single head and it has two speeds, which is really fast and like medium to a high resolution and then a little slower, but then that ultra resolution. So it just really depends on your workload. But if you want, Super fast, super high, ultra, they have the TXF 300. So what this is doing now is it's actually being fed through. Okay, so she did say it has a eye sensor. Let me yes. get that. It has that sensor down there. And once it sees that the film hits that sensor, it will start to feed yes. the film into the heater. So it actually hasn't hit it yet. So still got a little bit of, yep. a little bit of time. Check out that content bear there, killing every day. Shout out to Kingdom Barber Studios, Wing Zone, killing every day. We just wanted to showcase all the companies that we have been working with to um, just to give a big thank you. Oh, so it did. It is heating up, so it looks like it's warming up. It probably has to get to like a certain temperature. It is running the film. Well, actually, no, it's not running the film yet. 
but it, it sounds like it's heating up to get to that perfect temperature. And then here you're gonna see the shaker. But again, also let's go ahead and let's look at what's going on over here. So your traditional runs, all, everything that you see over there is actually ran onto the film on the side of it. And you will see a little bead that you, that you are forced to cut off. Well, the Mamaki printer does not have to do that. It cleans everything right over there. So every time that, uh, every time that print head goes over there, it's doing, it's doing its cleaning so that it doesn't have to do it on the film, causing you a lot less stress with having to decide whether or not to cut it or to just send it to your customer with that ugly film on there. Because that, come on, nobody likes that, right? Nobody likes that. So again, the precision, everything about this printer is designed for production based off of their other machines. So it's not like that they just jumped into the DTF world randomly and was just like, hey, let's just get into it just to make some money or something like that. No, that's not why they did it. They did it because they have already mastered a bunch of other machines. DTF, as you guys know, is a huge industry. Everybody's getting into it. But to find a consistent manufacturer is extremely hard now. So that's when they were like, well, you know what? We think that we can do this. Same thing with flash system transfers, right? The reason why we got into the business was selling transfers because we realized that at the time, Supercolor was making you have minimums, right? You had to buy 10, 10 transfers minimum and the biggest you could get was eight by 11 or something like that. And then we came out with the gang. So now they took it actually a step further and they are doing what we did with the individual transfer. They are doing it with the DTF machine as well as all their other products. But you're gonna see how easy it how is. How user friendly it is. Yeah. Okay, so here's your files. Here's the ones that we did. I'm just gonna, you know, uh, look. Let's see what we have here. You have from uh, I have Costco. the Castro's one through four. Okay, so I'm gonna hold down the control button and select all the ones we're gonna to want to print. So it was the Castro and the Ramirez stuff, right? No, just Castro. Okay, just Castro. Oh, why did it save it? Oh. No, it's fine. That's I'm fine. Confused. Okay, so here this is. And oh, I guess they did save the Ramirez. I guess that's a part of the same. Yeah, so Ramirez is three and four and Castro's one and two. So sorry. So we select the AIs as well? Nuh-uh. That's why I'm looking at it to okay. make sure. Okay. It won't, it'll kick back the ones that it won't accept. So we're just going to drag and drop it over here into Rashaline. And then Rashaline is going to ask you, okay, what would you like to do with it? And so see how this one, I have set up presets here. The TXF 150-75 won't put white behind it, but I can push this, which is DTF film with white. Uh -huh. And then I've got another favorite or preset set up that is for the high quality. Uh, we're just not, we're not gonna do high quality because like we usually don't need it. Okay. And then you'll see the file names that come in and you'll notice it all says PDF. So we're not gonna have any problems because we didn't bring the AI files over. Okay. So we're gonna push okay. And when we push okay, you'll see over here in the job queue, the jobs that come in. When the jobs come in, they'll come here at the bottom. And because we use right, those first two failed, that one came in. So we have your um, Castro game sheet one, two, and then the Ramirez three that has come in. So you see that they're, they've come down here. All of the um, options over here is things that you can do with the file. So number four didn't make it in there? It did I guess not. not. Okay. So we'll, we'll bring we'll it over. Yeah, no. So in the qualities tab, this is where you're going to select what resolution and what speed it's going to do. So 720 by 720, no, you're fine. It's going to be the fastest one. So that's what we're going to do for this one. And then when you come down here, this is actually going to show you your print area. Mm -hmm. So we could make copies here if you wanted to. Maybe they, they bought three gang sheets from you. Maybe yeah. you want to do copies here. This will arrange it into the center. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can put the crop marks on there. Or if you're going to cut it out by hand, you can put cut line on it. And oh. it'll put a, oh, really? an outline on there for on them to be one? able to cut it out. Wow. No, just around our Oh, artwork. I thought like on each individual image. I was but like, wow. You could, if you could do that if you would just bring in the one of the small one and the one of the big one, then you can set up your own game sheet. In this software? In this software. Oh, okay. You could put 40, maybe they wanted 100 copies of this, but only 20 copies of that. Uh -huh. You can bring in one of the small artwork and one of the big artwork mm -hmm. and it would do it And then you, you do the cut line and mm -hmm. then you copy and paste all the 20 or whatever. Yeah, all you have wow. to do is just push copies. That's, that's so cool. it does, it does 
does give them the ability to do that as well if they want to, um, you know, oh, maybe I need a few more of this. Yeah, yeah. You're going to set it. You can do scaling here. If you want to just test print one to see how it's going to work out, you can crop it out here if you would like to as well. So what we're going to do next is go over here to what we call the special plate. That means we're going to put white ink behind all of our color. So we're going to tell it, I want you to use white ink and everywhere you see a valid pixel of color, I want you to compose it automatically on the top of this color. So then I'm gonna push create and you'll see that now it has created the white layer and it's automatically put it on top of the color. So now it's gonna show us the white. Oh, uh, you can set you can set Rasha Link to show the preview in high resolution if you want to, but it's uh -huh. just showing you a low res. Yeah, just of like a preview. Preview, mm -hmm. exactly. And remember us talking about the fact that we could choke back the white or pull that white back underneath our color? The opacity of it. Right, that's yeah. what this is called in the layer adjustment. So I'm gonna um, select that on my white color, I'm gonna thin it behind my white by two pixels. That way none of that white ink, that, that, that way none of that white ink is gonna peek out on the outside on of the, the edges. Okay. And then we're ready to go. And that's important because a lot of, you know, some DTF, they have to have that white outline and a lot of people don't like that. So this brings that in. So uh, I know on another DTF transfer, you were like the red is kind of peeking up at the top. So is that from bringing that white a little bit down <laughs> so that red can peek through at the edges? Yeah, that's because we want that red to be on the very edge, yeah, not, not the, the white. white. So, so that, you're able to control that. That's amazing. Right. So then I'm just going to hit rip and print. Let's rip and, and print. And we're ready to go. So we're going to set the machine in remote and it's going to start printing. And now I'm going to have, I'm going to walk you through doing the next one. Oh, right? okay. Okay. So this, anyway, one, this is the one you're going to do. <laughs> so then you're going to go and make sure in the quality section, it's set by 720 by 720. And then you're going to go to the special plate and do like I did. Okay. Okay. So first it's in the quality section. Okay. So see up there where it says resolution, change that to 720 by 720. That's right. That's our fastest. Right. Now we're going to come over here to this our layer option. Special plate. Special plate. We're going to select valid pixel, automatic composite ah. on the top, mm -hmm. and then create. Oh, this is easy oh you know what we forgot to do on the last what, one what? is reverse it i forgot we have oh to do you have to mirror it so in the mirror in our um, image edit it's right here all you have to do is click one button and it okay. reverses it but this will give us a good opportunity to show okay oh wait i did make a, a mistake so all you have to do is hit local okay and this is touch screen yeah, th okay. no, it's not touch screen. Oh, okay. So it's, we're going to hit local and we're going to cancel that job okay. that we sent over because we forgot to reverse. So I'm going to hit local. It'll stop printing. And then we're going to go menu. We're going to go selection. And then you'll see data clear. We're going to clear out the data and we canceled that job. So nice. it's very easy to cancel the job that you're doing. Nice. Then we can go back in, hit reverse or mirror it as y'all call it, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to rip and print that. And then we're going to rip and print the one that you did, right? We well, did we need the, to reverse that one too. Uh, oh, okay. We made sure okay. that's reversed as well. And then we're going to rip and print that. And you'll see as, it's, as you're sending more jobs to the printer, they will come up over here in your job queue. So let's say we have a lot of customers. We have cost, you know, we've got uh, fl something you're doing for Flash, right? Or maybe something you're doing for Castro and you have seven or eight different jobs there in your queue. Oh, oh, somebody needs something right now. You can send something and hit immediate print and it'll move it up to the next thing mm. that prints. Okay. Yeah, jump the line. Jump the line. Jump the line. Yeah, okay. so we do have like uh, expedited options where they can pay a little fee to have it printed the next day versus our uh, four business day turnaround. Okay, good. So something, maybe an order came in and yeah, you've got and like, 10 jobs queued up. So you, you can hit it. immediate print and it'll move it to the front nice, of the line. Nice. So it is nice about that. Okay, so do you feel comfortable doing the Ramirez, the Ramirez one by yourself? I think you can do it. Don't be like me and forget to do, you know, reverse it. Okay, so we're going we're to We're going quality. to Q. Okay, let me see. Q. And then we need to change the resolution. Yes. Perfect. And then we go to special plate. Yes. Here. And then we are. Oh, we're going to no. hit. Yeah, you're right. Oh, here we go. Then we're, we're going to hit, hit valid, valid pixel, pixel. Composite automatically top. on the top and create. Did we reverse? 
Not yet. We're gonna okay, go to the green button up here. Okay, the little printer thing here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna reverse here. And then you're gonna go to the go button. Go. Hit rip and print, rip and you've done it. And we're gonna rip and print and start. So oh, there is no reason to be, now it can be customized. This rip can really go and be customized. We can change the colors. We can do all sorts of stuff here in the rip, but you saw how easy it is to actually get a print through. Yeah, and going. very, yeah. So all of this, you there's a lot in here though, but so we just need to do those specific things to get it printed. And yeah. it'll show you which ones you've already printed. The blue ones are being ripped. The green ones have already been printed. The white ones have not been printed. They're just in a queue. Like if we wanted, they're, yeah. they're just like in the system. And if we wanted to print, yeah, you could just this go is, to This is your job list here. Oh, okay. So say it's something that is ordered all the time. Uh -huh. You can actually back up that job. It's got oh, a backup nice. system on it. It will back up the job. Not only will it back up the job, but it'll back up the white plate and exactly all of the parameters. Maybe you did that one on high resolution. It'll back it up exactly how you printed it the first time. So you can bring in the backup file and reprint and it's the exact same that you had given them before. That's nice, that's nice. A lot of customers like that. We kind of do that in our own archive, keep their their artwork. So this would be cool just to keep the artwork in the system. Yeah, you could keep the artwork in one file and then the actual print file or the print yeah. backup as well. That really helps out. Mm -hmm. That's the better. Stop and watch. We want to give a shout out to Brian Castro, one of our uh, customers here, a returning customer with Flash Custom Transfers. We are printing your order on the Mamaki F-150 today, and you will receive this transfer in the mail. We want to know your feedback. How do you feel the difference between our original Flash Custom Transfers and the Mamaki transfer? So we need that feedback from you. Send us an email. As soon as you get these, you should get these. Uh, we're putting them in the mail today. It's the weekend. Early next week, you should receive these. So please let us know. Um, so far, so good. The resolution was not at the highest, but if you see, this printer is still printing really, really well. So we have about 460s, and um, this is the first order that we're printing with our Mamaki, so we're really excited to see uh, what that difference is, maybe in color, quality, uh, things like that. And we will be pressing on other uh, materials, so stay tuned for that. But Brian, we wanted to give you a big shout out and tell you thank you and look out for your Mamaki transfers. All right, so we're back. So we've already talked about the Rationalink software, the uh -huh. one that you can get for free. But I know um, you guys had said something that you guys you mostly use PNG. Yes. Uh, everyone that we know that deals with DTF, it's all PNG. I don't think I've ever seen anywhere where it's another type of file. So it's PNG only. So that's kind of new for the Mamaki user base, right? Because they usually use a different format, the PDF, the, um, a TIFF or something like that. Rationalink doesn't like PNG. So that's why AMCAD and a few of our other dealers um, will actually give you the option to get this software. Uh -huh. And this software is a PNG based software and it will automatically, um, it'll automatically help you with your white density as well. So you'll see there is four different um, presets up here. Mm -hmm. One for a light garment, one for dark garments, one for black garments, and one if you're only wanting to use white ink. And so you, here's your files, you know, maybe it's your server files or something else. So we've already added the Greg's um, job in here the pennies job in here so it sets the uh 720 to 720 automatically because in the other software we had to set that resolution right right that is um in the settings here but you okay. can change it if you want to as okay. well so we still need to add your P your tnt job on here okay so i want you to just drag and drop it in over there okay okay i dropped it does it take a second to it, process it does. Oh, okay okay right. just so now it's sure. coming in and you'll see it come in and then it'll show pending. Perfect. So now you see, see in your preview right here, we can see all of the jobs that we just added in. Oh, okay. So those are our next four pending jobs. So this is the, the last one. And then these are all the new jobs. Right. This is the one that's printing. And uh -huh. then these are the jobs that we have just um, uh, put in there. Perfect. So this software is um, for PNGs. 
and you don't have to adjust the white you and things still, like that because it, it is PNG. Mm -hmm, right. Okay. It, it's still a little customizable, like okay. the Rasha Link, where you can change the densities um, if you want to, if you know, depending on what garment you're using. Uh -huh. And then you can change the resolution, but it is more of a drop in and go yeah, yeah. workflow, I would say. So this software does not come with the Mamaki, but you are able to purchase this separately and they now have a bundle deal. So you do get a discount if you're uh, purchasing a separate software for the PNG. So we, like I was saying about um, it comes, you can get a package with a separate uh, software. What else comes in the package bundle deal with the Mamaki? So remember, our dealers sell it different ways. You can buy just the printer. You can buy just the um, shaker. You can get the shaker you want. You can use Rashalink and you can use this. AMCAD is going to put together a package for your flash people. We're going to call it the flash deal. Yeah, right? let's say that. <laughs> let's say we're going to have a flash deal. It's going to come with the shaker with the printer and this PNG software, nice. which I think it would be good. So if yeah. you guys are interested in that, I uh, think that you're gonna put a link in the description mm -hmm. on what it is and details on that. And remember this machine comes with a one head or a two head option. The two head will be twice the speed you see here. And it does come with a year warranty, free tech support, um, free classes, things like that. If you need to get familiar, um, they're always here to help and uh well let's talk about if something goes wrong because that's important too okay if there's something that goes wrong with the machine the our dealer network whether it be amcad or any of our other dealers have certified technicians who will come out to your facility um and parts and service is uh, covered in that first year nice and uh the maintenance is very low on these things as well you know other dtf printers they're always going down. You're always having to um, change those parts out. With Mamanki, you don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, the printer really doesn't need to be uh, hands-on, manned every second watching it. Yeah, that that I love that part of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you're not, you don't have to watch it. You can kind of set it, walk away. We went and had lunch, and then it was just still going. We're continuing to film, and uh, we can trust that the printer is doing exactly as it needs to do. Yeah, maybe you need to go do some cutting or you need mm -hmm. to put your shipping stuff together. You really do not have to sit here and make sure, oh, okay, is something going to go wrong or is something going to go, you know, break on the machine? Mm -hmm. You'll also notice here on the uh, material, there is these two things on the side that keeps that material on track. It's not going to veer off, right? Yeah. And it'll make sure that your head's not hitting it as well. You'll see that it has holes on that flattened area. There's actually a little vacuum system that vacuums down oh, the material to hold it flat as well, which, uh, you know, that's nice. Technology. That yeah. is. Yeah. It's not cleaning it, but it'll spit a little bit of ink over here. Because yeah. you were telling me that uh, our competition, it, it prints some uncured something yeah. over here and y'all are having to cut it off. Yeah. Um, I wasn't really familiar with that, but. This machine has a capping station that you'll see. That's the little square that you have over here. And you'll notice it has a little bit of ink in it. What it's doing, instead of spitting on the material, it'll come over into the capping station and spit a little bit of ink that way. Dip it so. and go, dip it and go, dip it and go, right. yeah. And that's all you can hope for, a low maintenance machine that you can trust. Yeah, and it has that white ink circulation system in this machine. Mamaki engineers, because remember we're an engineering company, the um, engineers actually engineered a new white ink circulation system specifically for the DTF machines. Nice. So our, you know, say the larger flatbed over there, it has a white ink circulation system in it as well. But each one of our machines has an ink system in it that ensures the machine is never going to go dry of ink. Mm -hmm. There's like these little bladders of, um, of ink systems in there. Mm -hmm. Well, this new white ink circulation system actually circulates all of that ink in the system, even the stuff that is in the little bladders. So it, it really makes sure that you're not gonna have um, as much maintenance as what I'm hearing yeah. the DTF is um, having now. Yeah. And there's several different types of shakers that you can get. Oh yeah, so that, that the uh, shaker does not have to be Mamaki 
with the Mamaki DTF, you can have your own shaker, right? With yeah. the machine. So that's important to know. You don't have to specifically have this one. You can have any type of shaker you want with your yeah, machine. Yeah, maybe they already have bought a shaker yeah. and they just want to buy the machine and use the shaker they have, save them money on that, then they can just get the printer. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's important to know as well. They don't have to think they have to buy our shaker to match with the, yeah, but oh, I'll, I said our. Uh, our I mean, it is ours now, it it's is our ours now. <laughs> it is ours now. I, I, I do want to say that you had said with some of the other shakers though, if there was a smell that you're not smelling in here today. No, there's no smell. There's no debris in the air. There's no cloudiness. There's none of those things that um, other DTF shops have. Wow. Yeah, we love so, that, right? Yeah, we do. Good environment. Like, uh, Good work environment. Yeah, like a bunch of those hoses. It almost looks like a metal hose. Oh, it see, does like yeah, that? It like goes through. Right yeah. Through. Put it up there yeah. It up. This one does have its own ventilation system yeah. over mm -hmm. here onto the side. Yep. Now there'll be a consumable on that where you'll have to replace the filters on that, um, the filters inside that. Mm -hmm. So I think if you start smelling that, maybe you need to redo the filters. Mm -hmm. So I think it depends on what your production is, whether you want to have a filtration system like this or get a, you know, something that's more robust that you know, goes to an offline one. I know that some of our dealers have several different types of uh, solutions as far as the shaker, shaker goes, mm -hmm. yeah. But this one works good. It, yeah. It has the, yeah. where it knows okay, when okay. the material is getting low and it'll automatically start. It dispenses the powder by itself as it's, um, as it's going. And Mamaki can provide you with ink because they have their own ink with the DTF powder with the film, so all the materials that you need for your printer, you well, can purchase them. Mamaki won't sell the powder. Oh, Mamaki okay. won't sell the um, the film. Each one of our dealers will have films, like the one we did yesterday with the that specialized one that had the reflective material, mm -hmm. you know. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it. so the dealers <laughs> are the ones that have, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you'll buy, you'll buy you'll buy that through your the dealer, dealer oh, your okay, films. Okay. Um, and some dealers will have fuller films than mm -hmm. others, right? Yeah. Some of them will have cheaper prices, but you know, always make sure that maybe you call that dealer and say, hey, can I get a 10 foot section for me to test on? Most of our dealers will do that too and send you like a little sample roll mm -hmm. so that you can print on it to make sure it's gonna work on the application that you're That's working good. on. So remember, I'm a little new to it, but it looks like to me there's not really enough powder down there. So to make sure that there's enough powder, I can do this right here, which is just selecting this and it will just feed some powder down in there. See if you can see it. Oh, yeah. And then like I was telling you earlier, you can also reuse it. So all of this, the excess powder that's being shaked off is shaked off into these two drawers right here. And then you can reuse that powder, I think they say four, four times. And so then you can just scoop it out and put it back up in here so that there's not as much weight. Callie, 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 thank you so much for printing with Flash Custom Transfers. Your order is being printed on the new Mamaki printer, DTF printer, the TXF150. As you can see, it is coming out right now. So please let us know uh, the quality of your transfers and how you feel um, from previous transfers you ordered to this transfer. Thank you for the patience, but as you can see, Things are going uh, and moving fast. So we want to say thank you, Callie, for being a part of the Flash team. And uh, again, send us an email when you receive these transfers so we can know how you feel about the quality of it. And we will be sending you some free samples, too, of Mamaki DTF transfers so you can have fun with those and let us know uh, what you think about all of those transfers. So thank you again. All right, so we will be sending, like I said, uh, samples to Cali, but if you want samples of DTF, uh, Mamaki DTF, let me show you all the samples we have right here. So Mamaki is actually hooking us up with tons and tons of samples. I have little here. These are pre-cut but they also gave me thick rolls of, of uh, Mamaki transfers and they all are sample packs and you can see it has the name of the DTF printer here and the website. So if you are interested in having a few samples, just comment down below or you, no, don't comment down below. 
because you'll make our comments crazy. Email us at ordernow at flashcustomtransfers.com and we'll hook you up with some Amaki samples. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. We shut everything down. We want you guys to get a pretty wide shot and a pretty <laughs> wide angle, but everything is shut down. We're gonna shut it down for tonight, but we will be filming a lot more. Right, babe? Yes, a lot, lot more and uh, a lot more orders on this machine so we can get you guys' feedback. We want to know yes. what you think about the Mamaki transfers. We need your feedback, so we need you to email us. As soon as you get it, email us what, what is going on with your transfer. Do you like it? Do you like how it presses? Does it press with the same instructions that we've always issued? Anything that you can give us back, any info, please email us at ordernowflashcustomtransfers.com. Send us that email and we will truly appreciate it. And every order will be shipped with a lot of- Samples. Samples, yes. <laughs> A lot of samples. And most importantly, if you're interested in a Mamaki DTF printer, TXF 150, you can comment down below, email us, or you can, um, we do have information in the link in the description for uh, your DTF provider. So yes. please let us know if you're interested and um, stay tuned for all the content. I know you guys love it and we love being here. Yes. Everyone at Mamaki has been so so great with open arms making us feel very comfortable and very uh i'm just very gracious yeah. for the opportunity that they're giving us to print and press and um just their knowledge really their yeah. knowledge is priceless so we appreciate just, everybody at mamaki the most super smooth process there was no we just set it and left it like set it and forget it literally with this set printer, it and forget it yes it forget it. we set it up and then we went across the street and everything has printed perfectly yep. look at there so a lot Again, all the people that were shouted out in this video, we truly appreciate you. And moving forward, we will continue to be shouting everybody out uh, who's, who orders with flash system transfers because we appreciate you helping to give Mamaki data for their printer so they can fine tune it and get it perfect for you. And all you people out there who are buying them or will have them, if you guys have any questions, you'll probably get your answers in one of these flash system transfer videos. That's going to be it for this video, guys. You know my slogan. I'm hungry. Be basic. Peace. I'm tired. Be basic. Peace. <laughs> That's